At the beginning of the 18th century, the strength of wind, the movement of water, and the toil of animals and humans provided the only sources of power or energy. Europe was an agricultural community. Over three quarters of the people lived and worked off the land. Manufactured goods were usually produced by individuals or small groups of workers in their homes, referred to as cottage industries. The urban centers of London and Paris were relatively small and ineffective. But as the new century dawned, an unsuspecting world was on the brink of incredible change. Technical innovation and engineering breakthroughs would transform the society at large and launch a revolution of marvel, the Industrial Revolution. The birthplace of the Industrial Revolution was England, a country that had struggled against an outrageous death rate caused by the bubonic plague, ill-trained midwives, and outbreaks of syphilis and smallpox. But as the 1700s progressed, England saw its population growing healthier and larger. Improved farming techniques resulted in more food than ever before. In addition, increased mechanization of farming tools improved crop yields. An early example was the seed drill. The most well-known was introduced by Jethro Tull in 1701. Tull's experimentation found that seeds grew better when planted at a given depth and spacing rather than in the traditional manner of scattering the seeds over a field. Farmers found that seeds germinating in rows were easier to hoe, so Tull increased the efficiency of this process by inventing horse-drawn seed drills and hoes. Other farmers contributed to this so-called agrarian revolution.